when we go to find the area of this triangle, uh, we notice we notice isosceles because 90 and 45 add to 135 and 180 degrees, all the angles in a triangle, minus 135 is 45 degrees. And because this triangle has two equal angles, it has two equal sides. So uh, there are a couple of ways you go about finding those legs, and that's what we need because we got the right angle here, and the base and the height are always between the right angle. You must have the base and height perpendicular. Um, but let's go back to what we've done in class, and remember that uh, in a isosceles right triangle, the sides are always in the ratio of t, t, and t root 2. So in this case, t root 2 is equal to 4 root 14. And if I divide both sides by root 2, I can see that my t would be 4 root 7. So now that I know that each length, each leg here is 4 root 7, the area of our triangle is 1 half base times height, 1 half 4 root 7, times 4 root 7 and this is going to be 1 half of 16 root 49 and I know that uh, again 7 times 7 is 7 squared and the square root of 7 squared is 7 or the square root of 49 is 7 so this is 1 half times 16 times 7 1 half times 16 is 8 8 times 7 is 56.